the snake and the mirror the mirror for a long time has been a motif for self reflection and introspection you would find it making an appearance in movies that we consume as early as our childhoods in fairy tales and cartoons one of the biggest mysteries that each of us subconsciously carry on our shoulders day in and day out is how do i look how do i look when i walk how do i look when i laugh how do i look when i eat how do i look when i sleep and so on once we cross the threshold of childhood and progress towards teenage the mirror reflects our dreams and ambitions this aspect is beautifully addressed in harry potter where the mirror of erised reveals one's deepest desires harry yearns for his family ron yearns for success and dumbledore yearns for socks soon the question becomes how will i look when i'm older when i'm in college when i'm a doctor when i'm a parent when i'm old the introspection that happens in front of a mirror never really stops it could be for a fleeting moment when you are brushing your teeth or an hour long self analysis while you stare into the abyss this is made clear through the story the snake and the mirror where the author a grown adult goes through different phases of emotions whilst being in the presence of a mirror and later a snake has a snake ever coiled itself till comb lay beside the mirror the story starts with a homeopathy doctor talking about his strange encounter with a snake to a bunch of people the rest of the story is anecdotal as the doctor narrates in the first person he starts off by describing his small rented room and his humble possessions as a doctor who had just started out rats were his roommates and a lantern his light what were his minimal possessions at that time describe the room he was living in as a young doctor one day as he got out of bed to get some fresh air even standing in the veranda was of no help he decided to read a book materia medica instead which was placed on the table what else was on the table one feels tempted to look into a mirror till to run after me and catch me the doctor's eyes settle in the mirror as he admires himself whilst looking he makes two earth shattering promises to himself what are they i got up lit a bd till what can i do the doctor hears some sound but disregards it before he knows it a snake slithers onto his shoulder the doctor held his breath and he did not move or speak the snake was inches away from his face and he had turned to stone when at the crossroads of life and death a lot of people you must have seen or read feel the presence of a supernatural either god the universe or even just ghosts similarly our young doctor felt something like that his left arm started hurting now as if being crushed and he could do nothing but bear the pain without moving or speaking or squirming at my slightest movement till and run for all i was worth the doctor comes to term with his fate he acknowledges what a helpless and stupid doctor he was and almost as if god appreciated his self critique the snake slowly turned its head and looked at the mirror the next thing he knew the snake was staring at its own reflection perhaps amazed at its own beauty it soon slithered away from his lap and went close to the mirror surely but sneakily the doctor grabs his opportunity and runs for his life phew each of us heaved till which was taken with its own beauty the listeners breathe a sigh of relief as they bombard the doctor with questions where did he go did the snake follow him did he see the snake again and so on can you answer these questions after having read the text patiently answering their questions the doctor describes the scene at his apartment the next morning 
he had been wiped out by a thief who had spared nothing but a dirty vest. The snake was nowhere to be seen, of course. In a momentous act of self-indulgence, the snake had abandoned its prey to stare at its own beauty. An act so human, it could be categorized as anthropomorphic. This feature can also be seen in the way the doctor describes the snake, trying to assign it a gender and trying to gauze what the snake must be thinking whilst staring at itself in the mirror. Why do you think the snake decided to stare at the mirror? What do you think the snake saw or thought while looking at itself in the mirror?